something that happens in saws, especially with short parts. And uh, sometimes your chucking does not grab good enough, and it spins. And when it spins, it embeds little teeth in here, and it's just a mess. And if we go back and try to cut this again, we're just going to ruin another new blade and be out, I forget, 100 and whatever. It's not quite 200, but they're expensive because it's a big saw. Big blades cost normal money instead of cheap money. There's a big piece of it right there, yeah. So some things that help when you're in this situation. Obviously, once you've got teeth embedded in everything, just don't go back with the same blade. We could go and put a carbide blade on here. We have carbide blades, but it's not worth... Carbide blades tend to ruin themselves the most on softer metal. They claim you can use them at softer metal and turn up the speed and get more production. I have not seen it work for me. 